my name is Alyssa Jovita. I'm one of the admission counselors here at Rollins. Um, and I'm actually a Rollins grad myself. I graduated in Rollins from 2014. Um, I was on the women's tennis team and I was a communication studies major. Um, I've lived in Winter Park now for a long time. I've been here for about nine years. Um, and I would like our students to introduce themselves as well. Hi guys, I'm Amy Kutmar. Um, I'll be graduating from Rollins in December of 2018. I'm an international business major with an economics minor, and I'm also in the 3-2 Accelerated Management program. Uh, I also have uh, two different work positions on campus, and I'm involved with uh, Spectrum. And I am from Sarasota, Florida, but I was originally born in the UK. Hello everyone, my name is Colson. Um, I'm a sociology major and business management minor. I graduated fall of 2018. Uh, something interesting, I'm an only child. Um, and my on-campus involvement, I'm the Vice President of Black Student Union, and I'm also involved in fraternity and sorority life. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry, my hometown is from Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, so we really appreciate you all sending in your questions, um, and we'll jump into them in just a minute, but first we want to learn a little bit more about Amy and Colson's first year experience here at Rollins. Um, so Amy, how did you prepare um, before you came for your first year here? Yeah, so I got everything packed really quickly. I was super organized and I wanted everything packed perfectly, so I did it probably 10 times, which was way too much, don't do that. <laughs> um, and then I had a countdown on my phone, so I was kind of driving my parents crazy, like 10 days, nine days, eight days. <laughs> cool. Um, and Colson, what were you most looking forward to at Rollins? Um, coming from a community college, I was most looking forward to the academic experience and small class sizes. So I was interested more into like the liberal arts education, um, receiving core information as well as having like a global diversity, like a global aspect on what exactly goes in, you know, the word academia here at Rollins. Um, also the community style that we have. So on campus, like I saw how people would interact with their professors in passing, how they would interact with other people in passing, even staff members. Cool. What's been your favorite liberal arts general education course that you've had so far here at Rollins? Honestly, my RCC, my Rollins conference course, um, it was Murder Mysteries with um, Professor Paul Reich. And what I really enjoyed about the class, I never thought I would watch Netflix for homework. So we actually <laughs> had to watch different episodes of um, shows on Netflix as far as assignments. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and Amy, what were what were you most nervous about before you got here? I think I was really nervous about meeting people. I didn't think that I'd be someone that could just like walk out and introduce myself to someone. Um, but actually, that ended up not really being a problem. Um, you meet people really easily um, through your RCC class, um, and then all those people have roommates, and their roommates have their RCCs. So you end up with this huge network of people in like the first week on campus and it's actually really easy to meet people and get really involved. Did you feel like it was easier to make friends in a smaller environment like Rollins? Yeah, I think it definitely is because it's very easy to find the people that you have things in common with. You're not fighting through like huge crowds of people to find one person that you have a lot in common with um, when there's only like 10 people in your class. That's true. Um, and did you go to the involvement fair your first week, like during welcome week? Yeah, um, so I definitely went, I went with my RCC class um, and my peer mentors and they kind of pointed us in the right directions of things that they thought we might be interested in. Um, so actually one of my peer mentors was a diplomat, a tour guide at Rollins, and so she pointed me in the right direction and now I'm a diplomat too. I signed up for it at that involvement fair um, and that was a really great decision. Yay. Awesome. And Colson, what surprised you most about Rollins once you first got here? What surprised me the most is accessibility to opportunities. So, um, like she was saying, as far as like getting involved on campus, um, my first year, I joined various clubs and I didn't realize how easy it was to be a part of different things and different organizations. Uh, for example, WPRK, which is our on-campus radio, I never in a million years thought I would have my own radio show, mm -hmm. but the opportunity was available to me just by filling out an application. Um, I never thought I would join a fraternity. That opportunity was very accessible, um, comparable to being at a larger university. So that was one of the things that, you know, kind of helped. Cool. Awesome. 
Um, and if you both could give like one nugget of information, like a piece of advice for some of our incoming first year students, what would it be? Yeah, absolutely. I'd say definitely just don't stress about it um, and just know that you're going to come to campus and meet a ton of new people. Um, you're probably not going to feel as homesick as you might think you are um, because Rollins will become your second home. Mm -hmm. I know it did for me. Definitely. I say this all the time um, working with admissions and the student panels. Um, organization, uh, making sure you're organized and good in time management. Relaxing. I'm sorry, that's something for me, like it's. And okay. <laughs> no um, <laughs> yes. And uh, another form of advice is for every class that you go to, make sure you get two phone numbers um, to where you can network. And if you're able to help someone, that's available. If you need help, um, you can't access a professor, which is barely not likely. Um, but you form your, your Rollins family by doing that. Awesome. So we will jump into the questions now that you all submitted. Um, and we did have a ton of questions about the dorms and kind of the timeline of when you'll all get your assignments. So um, just so you all know, you're going to receive your residence hall and roommate assignments um, in early July. So um, just kind of be on the lookout for those um, because they will be provided to you pretty soon. And it's really excited. I'm sure you were both really Definitely. excited when you got that. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, and just so you all know, um, we do provide several different furnishings, so you will get an extra long bed, um, of course, with a mattress. You'll also get a dresser, um, a desk, and then a desk chair. And then you'll either have an actual closet or a wardrobe to hang your clothes in. And then we do provide blinds, too, as well. Um, some kitchen items that are not permitted, um, you can't bring a toaster oven, hot plates, woks, steam cookers, deep fryers, electric skillets, grills, things like that. Um, and then if you have any other questions about residence halls or kind of how to prepare, um, we have posted a link in the comments section. So um, make sure to check it out there or reach out to either the admission office or residential life and explorations and uh, we'll be happy to help. Um, so we're going to move on to the question portion now. Thank you all for um, submitting your questions in advance. So, um, Colson, we have a question from Sabrina, um, and Sabrina's from Merritt Island, Florida, um, and she would like to know what building do all the incoming freshmen live in, um, and what is your advice on getting along best with roommates and neighbors? Hello, Sabrina. So there are several um, freshman halls. There is. Uh, Strong Hall, Strong 220, and Strong 221. You have McKean Hall, you have Rex Beach, which houses uh, music majors, and you also have Ward Hall. So Ward is one of the bigger uh, freshman halls, and you're housed based on your RCC course. So your RCC is your Rollins Conference course, and it helps build community um, and different you know, learning experiences. You're, li you're living essentially with people that you're in class with. So um, it enhances your Rollins experience in your first year. Uh, a nugget of advice <laughs> um, is to have open communication with your roommate. Um, if there's something that you like or if there's something that you dislike, make sure that you guys are able to communicate because you essentially you all live together. You see each other um, either throughout the day or at night. And that's what helped me get through my first year. Me and my roommate, we really clicked and we had open communication. So if it was too cold, I would tell them it's, <laughs> it's too cold. Okay. Or um, if there's company available, you just Communicate that information that will help your transition as far as having a roommate be a lot smoother. Cool. Did you connect with your uh, first year roommate before you got to campus? Yes. Yeah. So when I received the email, I also received um, his Rollins email. So we communicated through email and then we exchanged phone numbers. Um, being that I'm from Jacksonville, it was about an hour and 30 drive and I just rolled down and we had lunch with his family. So it was pretty cool. So you would recommend connecting with them beforehand Definitely. when you get the assignment? You don't yeah. want to bring two refrigerators, two TVs, <laughs> you know, you might want to see what each other are bringing so you want to have two of everything and um, just to get to know the person that you're going to be sleeping with, not sleeping with, but living with. <laughs> living with. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Uh, <laughs> um, so Amy, um, here's a question from Caroline. Um, and Caroline's from Rhode Island. Um, and Caroline is wondering, during spring break, are students required to leave campus or are you allowed to stay in the residence halls if you want to? Yeah, hi Caroline. 
Um, so you're definitely allowed to stay in the residence halls for spring break. Um, the only times that you'd be required to leave campus would be winter break in December. Um, so you can leave all your stuff in your room. You just need to actually not be on campus. Mm -hmm. um, so um, there's winter break and then summer break as well. Um, those are the only two times that you would actually need to be off campus. And what did you do during last spring break? Last spring break, I went and visited my sister and her husband and their little three-year-old in Colorado. Yay, that's fun. Colton, <laughs> what did you do last spring break? Um, I went on an alternative spring break, which is a Rollins Immersion. Uh, we went to New York, and I was able to teach junior achievement to um, K through fifth grade, I believe. So it was pretty fun. Awesome. Yep. That's a cool experience. Thanks. Um, all right. So, Colson, here is a question from Bridget, and Bridget is from Hickory Hills, Illinois. Um, and she is wondering, is there any work that needs to be completed before you start school? Okay, so good news is you don't have to read. There's no summer reading, but you do have to make sure that you complete your um, FoxLink checklist. So I believe the due date has already passed. So for everyone that has completed your checklist, you're good to go. Yay. All your homework <laughs> is done so far. Um, but for you all that haven't completed your checklist, make sure you get that done as soon as possible. Um, but for the most part, just complete your checklist and prepare. Prepare your mind, prepare your body, prepare everything, you know. This is a big step. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and Bridget would also like to know, is there an athletic training room here at Rollins that people can help out in? Yes, so there is an athletic training room, which is home to 22 varsity sports on campus. Um, this is an administrative position, and it's also a work-study position. Um, a work-study position is basically a government-funded position for students on campus. Um, so that position is available, and it will be available in the fall. If you're interested in doing that. Cool. Um, and are there some other, obviously you both work on campus, Definitely. you mentioned, are there a lot of different jobs and how do you actually go about applying for those different positions on campus? Definitely. So I actually have two jobs on campus. One is a work study position for the Central Leadership and Community Engagement and the other one is Admissions Diplomat, which is a department funded job. So like I said, a work study position is federally funded. Um, a department funded position is funded by that particular department. So you would go on Rollins Careers, I believe, and you look at the postings and it will say work study next to it, or I say the position and department next to it. And from there, you would complete your resume. Um, and once you're hired, you will go through you know the paperwork of your information, or files, and things of that sort. So work study positions you have to qualify for. Definitely. Right? Yeah. Yes. And then departmentally funded is kind of open to yes. the entire campus. Yes. Awesome. And there, you can definitely go on the website to see what's posted at the beginning of the year um, if you're looking to take an on-campus job. So definitely um, log on either right now to start checking out what's available or when you get here too. Awesome. Cool. Um, all right, Amy. So here is a question from John. Um, what do you think is the best way to make friends and get connected on campus? Hi, John. Um, so I spoke a little earlier about how um, you'll meet a lot of people just through your RCC and roommates and their RCCs, um, but definitely I'd say probably instead of watching Netflix in your room for the mm -hmm. first couple weeks, maybe like watch it in the common room of your residence hall or something like that. Um, there's a lot of common spaces and if you hang out in those places you're definitely going to meet people. I know I met one of my really good friends when we were both just doing laundry um, in my residence hall my first year. Um, so definitely just put yourself out there and you won't have trouble meeting people on campus. Awesome. All right. Um, Colson, do you have any um, like advice for how to meet people on campus? What, what did you feel like worked really well for you that, that first year, that first semester, that first few weeks when you were on campus in terms of making friends and feeling connected? The first thing I do is just being nice and smiling <laughs> and meeting people. You never know who you may walk by. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess receiving a job on campus, I was able to meet different staff and um, meet different students mm -hmm. because I was able to work with different students throughout the week. So those were my first steps, just smiling, being nice to people, um, getting to know what people do on campus already as far as students or staff members. But slowly but surely, you can definitely build your 
networking base here at Rollins is very, it's a very intimate and community based, you know, cool. college. <laughs> yeah. Um, and just a reminder um, for all of you that are um, watching live right now, if you have any questions that you're thinking of right now, um, be sure to post them in the comment section um, because we'll be able to um, answer them right here and right now. Um, so if you, I'd like you both to answer this question. In terms of academics, um, I'm sure it can be a, a pretty different experience, right, than Definitely. high school was. Um, so what would be some advice, um, if you could kind of rewind time and go back and give yourself advice about um, how to handle academics and kind of the academic rigor on campus, what, what would you go back and tell yourself? Um, so I was actually talking to one of my friends earlier today about how when I was in high school, everybody told me like, oh yeah, college, you'll have tons of free time. Mm -hmm. um, you do have a lot of free time opposed to high school where you go to school from like nine to four every day or something like that. Um, but definitely time management is something that's really important. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that yeah, you have time to relax like Colson was saying mm -hmm. earlier but you also definitely want to make time to make sure you're organized and you get everything done on time. Um, meeting deadlines is definitely really important. Um, you can definitely handle the course load if you stay organized and stay on top of it. You definitely don't want to fall behind. If I were, um, could rewind time, I would say finding a balance from involvement, community involvement, and academics. So. Of course, I will put school first, but outside of my work, I will have so many different things going on. So if I could rewind time for my first year, I probably would have joined probably two clubs and, you know, focus more on like my academics a lot more. And I probably could have excelled even more. Um, but definitely just finding a balance of involvement and academics. Did you guys use your professors, like your RCC professors oh, and advisors as definitely. kind of go to that first semester? I don't want to say I dumped him, but <laughs> <laughs> um, my RCC professor, like he was my academic advisor up until I declared my major to be sociology. And then from then, from there, I transferred to um, another professor in my department. So you're going to form a close connection. Um, when it was time to vote in election time, I saw my professor at the library and, you know, we just spoke, we, you know, it's cool. It's, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, and um, your RCC professors and your peer mentors are great. So I know my first semester, I texted my peer mentors all the time. Yeah. And I was like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing with this thing, or I don't know like where to go off campus to eat dinner. And they'd be like, oh my gosh, let me tell you all about all of yeah. these things. And they were great. I still love my peer mentors. I talk to them all the time. Um, and my RCC professor, um, Dr. Vidovich is awesome. She used to tell us stories about like how she would go skydiving with her husband on the weekends. She's yeah, like, cool. if you guys ever want to go skydiving, let me know. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much. No um, and thank all right. you all for all of your questions. Um, we appreciate it. And we're really looking forward to seeing you all in the fall. Yeah. So make sure you guys finish up those checklists on your FoxLink accounts. And again, if you have already done that, thank you for doing that. Congratulations, you're done. <laughs> um, but if you haven't, please make sure to get those done as soon as possible. Um, but in the meantime, while you guys are getting excited to come to Rollins in the fall, make sure you tag your pictures with hashtag Rollins Life um, and get excited and we'll see you in the fall. Yes, and please add us on all social media accounts, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, at Rollins College. Don't hesitate to see what we're doing um, before we come. I'll see you in the fall. Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>